And now, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, two of the brightest, freshest young faces in show business today. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother and I really appreciate that reception. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate that reception, my brother and I. <laughs> I, uh, I my already... My brother and I. I, I, brother I, I, and me. I already said my that. My brother and I. We I already that. said that. Anything you do is wrong. You've yet to do anything right. I do so. You do not. I do. I know that Mom always liked you best. <laughs> Mom, my mom always liked my brother Ben. She never liked me. My mom never liked me. All right. She always liked you best. All right. Yes. Mom liked me. <laughs> mom liked me best. And do you know why? Because you held the mortgage on the house. <laughs> well, I don't care. Brothers should get equal. Mm. And you always got the biggest. Mom gave you, gave you size 10 shoes. She only got me size six. Well, I happen to have bigger feet. Yeah, and, and, and she gave you bigger feet, too. <laughs> it's not fair. Mom always got you the best toys, too. Oh. You got the best. It, all right, all right. We, we, always we, got the best toys. We shouldn't argue. Always got the it's, best. It's, it's not nice. The best. After all, you, uh, you are my older brother. I'm his old... Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're the oldest. I am not. Then why was I always the baby? How come they always call me the baby? You weren't housebroken until you were 12. <laughs> I was 11. Get your facts straight, brother. Well, you're the brother. oldest. Yep. Well, I say brother. Get right. your facts straight, brother. <laughs> You're the oldest. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, let me... A double yeah to you. Well, hey, fellas, Tommy or Dickie, would you please come out here? We'd, it, um... Oh. We'd... Here, let, me, let me take this. Oh, th right? thank you. Yeah. We'd, um... We'd like you to settle something for us. All right. Yeah, which of... Oh, now I'm myself. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Which of us do you think is the older? You mean which of you two are the older? Yeah, yeah, yeah. which which is the oldest? <laughs> Don't do that. That is for horses. You tell the age of horses by You mean it doesn't work with people's teeth? Oh. Well, it might for me, but not for him. You see, his teeth are only six months old. <laughs> Eight months and get your facts straight. <laughs> Tell me, fellas, how do you like the way we did your act? I thought it was perfect, just Good. great. Yeah, I thought I captured it right to a T. It was just fantastic the way you captured the act. <laughs> really liked it, huh? Yeah, I really did. Which one played me? <laughs> you know, we had the same trouble when we did Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald. I thought you were Jeanette McDonald. I was a darling Jeanette. Yeah. I think you opened your mouth and just told our age. You know, before we go any further, though, I want to thank you two both, for my brother and myself, for appearing on our show tonight. You know, it's a great honor for us to have you here, and thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank the you. reason, especially, we're, especially we like it because you two are such great friends to each well, other. Well, that's you know? right. I guess Jack is about the closest friend I've got. Yeah, you know, we kid around a lot, you see, mm -hmm. but there's, there's nobody that I have more respect for than George. Mm -hmm. I've always said George Burns is the funniest man alive. George is in a class by himself. He's just yes. modest. When it comes to comedy, Jack Benny wrote the book. Oh. Nobody can take a line and get as much out of it as Jack. <laughs> no, George, no, George, you're the, you're the great. Oh, come on, you're the champ. Oh, tell me, Mr. Burns, what, in your opinion, do you think has made uh, Jack Benny such a great comedian? In my opinion? Yeah. You really want to know? Uh-huh. Uh, 
I don't want him to hear this. Okay. I couldn't say this in front of Jack. Yeah. But who taught him everything he knows? I taught him everything he knows. Jack had an act. It wasn't so hot. The act needed something. He didn't know what. I said, Jack, if you want to pull him in, go get yourself a violin. You can kill the people and fill up the room. Play some corny melody like Love and Bloom. Tell me, have you ever seen him take this pose? Well. Yeah, I, that's my favorite pose. That was mine. <laughs> I taught him everything from what to say to fiddling. I taught him everything he knows. Well, I, don't, I, I, don't, I really don't understand. What do you mean that George Burns isn't that great? Well, you see, Tommy, nobody does it alone. Yeah. I taught George everything he knows. I remember the first time I saw him work. I was just a kid. <laughs> he smoked a pipe in his act and bombed. It was awful. I went up to him and I said, Mr. Burns? And he said, yes, kid. <laughs> and I said, get rid of that pipe and put a cigar in the act. Well, he did it and the rest is history. It even brought his voice down two octaves. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Burns, what else did you teach Mr. Benny? What else? Uh -huh. Did you know that Jack is actually from Philadelphia? No. I told him Waukegan is a funnier place to be from. <laughs> I don't want to take anything away from George, you understand? Sure, I, I... But he used to have a spot in his act that was just nothing. Nothing. Ten solid minutes of fruit ducking. <laughs> fruit ducking? Yes. He always sang a slow ballad, and I told him, Mr. Burns? He said, yes, kid. <laughs> I said, if you can't sing good, sing fast. <laughs> Mr. Burns, did you teach Mr. Benny how to be cheap? Some things don't have to be taught. <laughs> George, come here. If we finish line, I've been thinking it's all true in a way. I guess it is, Jack. Now, we've taught each other a lot over the years. Well, mostly how wonderful it is to have a good friend. Who taught him everything? How to hope and how to sing? He taught me everything he I know. Up next, advice on business from George Burns and Jack Benny.